Jeffy, it's such a huge relief they were able to bring you back. Are you okay? Yes, Daddy. I don't even know what happened. I tried to rejoin but then I saw that thing, in which they told me his name was Null, captured me and everything went glitchy and black. And then you got sent into some dimension as well as other people that Null thing caught? But now I'm back. I'm sorry daddy. I don't know what came over me. I wanted that money so badly. I got so desperate. I guess I got my punishment. Am I still grounded? I think you've learned your lesson. But you should also apologize to Peppa. You threatened you would turn her and her dad into bacon and pork chops. That was unacceptable. Uh, you're right. Wait, are you serious? But don't you think this could be a bad idea? Honestly. I'm just as concerned as you are, but I've never seen Dora this bold in my entire life. Me neither, but what if all of us gets captured? Here school is far too dangerous and Uncle Ted is beyond determined to protect me from that crazed entity. I would have said the same thing about my dad. For now, why don't we relax until Dora gets us up to date? Oh hey, you're Kofu, right? Yes, and you are? Darlene. Are? Darlene, what an interesting name for a goth girl. And the way you look, you'd be a unique dark type gym leader. I'll take that as a compliment. So, Kofu, any other ideas of how to deal with that run called Null? I wish, but because of me, I allowed Null to capture my crab bombinable and Brassius, and there was nothing I can do about it. However, Dora and I have been discussing. About what? Well. When I told her about stunning Null with a giant fish, Dora thought maybe we patrol around the town and throw anything big at him when spotted. I see. But wouldn't that be risky? I'm more worried about protecting the children than tossing projectiles at Null. For a babysitter like you, I understand, but I'm with you. I'd rather not add any more recklessness and let Dora or the other kids make the same mistake I did. I'm sure we'll figure things out, sweetie. Like Dora said, if anything goes wrong, we rush them to safety. Well, Berto, your outfit is lovely. And I think I know one more touch that'll make your appearance look perfect. Some blue eyeshadow will shine right through your glasses. Um, I appreciate the tip, but I don't think I need makeup. Darlene wears makeup, but I don't. Besides, I think that blue line dye in my hair is good enough for me. Oh, the blue dye suits you well alright. But I thought maybe you'd look beautiful with blue eyeshadow. Like how I saw Darlene's, her makeup with her outfit makes her a good god. True, but still, I'm not much of a woman who wears makeup every single day, unlike Dar. Throwing something big. This can be complicated. What can we use that will keep Nell away from anyone at all costs? Now now Dora, I do get the idea. But what can we use to keep Nell at bay? I'd rather not use any kind of property. I know. But still, we can let no hunt down more people or else he'll consume everyone and take over the world. Remember, just don't get too close to no and don't let him get close to you. We all stick together, so try not to get lost. We'll do Yasmin. We will all stay in a group and keep our distances. Welcome back to my show. Last time, Johnny brought his sisters Susan and Mary to help work on the data antidote. Not only that, he also won the prize, which was a portable lab. As the thing transformed into a big lab, it was enough for his sisters to get to work. Then Monica suggested my contestants to, as a challenge, have fun in the DDLC school. Judging by the ratings, it was Kira who won the challenge, making her get immunity. And everyone else is up for elimination. So, who will win and who will leave? Let us all find out right now as you viewers are watching. Baldi's Character Elimination Even if this was a challenge and that Kira won, I do hope you all are comfortable having a show in this school. Though, we'll need to make this elimination quick. The principal is hosting a meeting which will include me, Dakota, Tiffany, Revan, Nightfist, and Jacob and Paige on a video call. This is regards of the Null incident. Now let's see how many votes we got. Okay, let's do this. Kira won immunity, so she is safe. I'm so glad I came back to the literature club room. All former team leaders remain, because Penny and Stewie are safe at four votes each.
Good thing I wasn't in the bottom few this time. Except when I was in the top three to win the prize. Philip, Johnny, and Gumball are all safe at six votes each. I knew I would still be safe. I've been getting a lot more confident. Well, try not to get overconfident. Arrogance can lead to failure, but I'm not saying this to be mean. I know, but you do have a valid point. What? Why am I in the bottom two? Probably from the last challenge. So, it is down between Charlie and V. I do need to get to the meeting, so let's hurry this up. The last one safe is... Charlie, at 12 votes. Phew, close one. I'm sorry V, but you are eliminated at 15 votes. You did join not long ago and helped us escape from Null, but you're now cut from the competition. Hey, it's no big deal. I'm just glad I could get the chance to compete and get to know you all, and to play the hero part when I guided you all to the portal after Null's attack. No need to call my parents. I can fly myself back home. I should go now. Goodbye everyone. I can't wait to see who wins. Bye bye V. I hope to see you soon. Wow, V came out strong. I kinda wish she didn't have to go. Time to transform into a bat. V Huntley. Away. So long my friends. With V gone, we are now at our final seven. But now, I need to head to the meeting. You all stay here, because Monica will be in charge of hosting the challenge. Yep. You leave the challenge to me. Thank you Monica. I better get going now. The spotlight's on you today. All of you be good to Monica. Okay folks. I'll be your hostess for now. So since you're in Doki Doki Literature Club, here's an interesting challenge I'd like you all to do. I run the Literature Club, and my club members and I like to write poems and stories. So, your challenge is to write a small story and read it to me and my club members. After all stories are finished, we will decide who has the best story and will win immunity. You all have one hour to come up with a story. So, go for it. Huh? What's going on down there? I don't know Dora. I don't see anything we can use to fight now. I get it's worth a try, but like I said, I don't want to cause any more recklessness. Well, if we can't do anything about it, then maybe we can talk to Dakota and Jake Campbell about how we all can deal with now. Okay, but for now, I guess we'll try to find something big or heavy and avoid now. If we don't succeed, We'll talk to Dakota. What? They're planning on fighting Null? I don't think that's a good idea. Even if stunning him does affect him, what if it's not enough? What if Null ends up consuming them all? You know what? If they want something big or heavy, I'll do them a favor. I'll go find something and drop it on Null in case he does appear. I don't want anyone else caught. Um, is it just me or do I see a big bat in the sky? Time's up. Everyone gather around. So, here's how this will go. Each of you will take a turn to read us your story. Whoever has the best story wins immunity. Natsuki, Yuri, Sayori, come on over. Okay. Let's do this. We will go in letter order. We will be starting Thanks, off Monica. with Charlie. Here's a silly story about one of my Halloween nights. I was going out trick-or-treating with my friends visiting different houses. However, there was one thing I usually say. I got a rock. Yeah, I got nothing but rocks in my pocket. And at the end, Lucy was like, I got five pieces of candy. Violet was like, I got a chocolate bar. Patty was like, I got a quarter. And me, I got a rock. So, yeah, I got a rock. Uh, no candy? That's so sad. You poor soul. If I was that unlucky kid, I'd throw that rock into that person's face. Thank you, Charlie. Up next is Gumball. Okay, here I go. I wrote a story about a video game disc incident. I was going to return the disc because the return was overdue. I even tried to use a cardboard duplicate, but no. Darwin used the disc as a pizza cutter, but I ended up cleaning it with the wrong side of the sponge, giving it so many scratches. I panicked, but it got into the garbage disposal. Mom was furious, but Darwin and I managed to reach the store only to turn in the wrong disc. Mom ended up paying $25 for the disc, but the lateness fee was outrageous. It costs $700, but
but mom and us ended up on the run, and that's that. Whoa, running from an expensive fee? Jeez, what is wrong with you people? Now now nuts. Some people can write stories about their mistakes. Anyway, thank you Gumball. Johnny, you're up. Thanks. It all started when I was first used as a contestant in the Colossal Go elimination. I was the first one to be eliminated and waited until the second rejoin. However, after I rejoined, I messed up in the Halloween challenge and got eliminated again. But, that doesn't end there, because I got the same treatment and triple threat. I got eliminated early again, and that's when I snapped. I desperately tried to come back my way, despite many warnings I got. I was close to rejoining, but lost. I tried again and again, only to face consequences. So, years later, I tried to sabotage Beyond Mayhem and Last Stand, but failed. So, I helped Max and Guy hack the show, but that was another mistake. Eventually, I woke up from my torment and had a change of heart. Help the heroes stop Max and Guy and get the show and winnings back. Jacob and Dakota gave me a chance to compete in their collab show, and it went super well for me. And now, here I am, making it this far in Baldi's character elimination. The end. Okay, now I must admit this has to be a good one so far. I really enjoyed it. 10 out of 10. Thank you Johnny. Kira, you're next. Okay, so... Wanna know how I took down a powerful demon in one hit? Well, it was simple. I was with my instructor, Tala Stone, who was teaching me on how to fight demons. All I ever did was lay one powerful punch in the humerus area of the arm, mainly in the triceps. I managed to knock down that demon. Maybe I can take Tala down with that attack too. That's some interesting fantasy and creativity you put in your story, Kira. I do like the idea of fighting demons. I approve. Thank you, Kira. Your next penny? Gladly. This story is about when I got inside an actual video game Wario and his crew were working on. When I invented the jet tank one, I was using it to fly high. I then got a call from my grandpa, asking for my help. I agreed and got inside that odd game. Then I got inside a pink helicopter and flew to the crew. There I saw three things. A golden beehive, a golden toilet paper roll, and a golden holy mug. I combined all three things and turned it into a golden watering can, which made a massive beanstalk grow. We climbed it and battled some odd big brown monster, which happens to be Puro. And that was it. There was no treasure, unfortunately to Wario. I wonder what it'll be like if I got in a video game. But aren't we video game characters? This doesn't involve glitchy faces or texts or any dark scenes. Right? I don't think so. WarioWare games shouldn't have what DDLC has. Thank you, Penny. Okay, Philly, it's your turn. It all started when I was a toddler. Me, Mama, and my babysitter Tiffany got kidnapped by an evil smuggler and his right-hand man. We were held hostage for a ransom, power over Glenberry, and Dakota's and Mice. However, Dakota, Cousin Nora, Jesse, and other people came to rescue us. The smuggler was dead. The right-hand man was arrested, and all of us can finally continue to live our lives peacefully. End of story. Aw, uh, I'm so sorry you had to go through all this as a baby. That smuggler must be evil enough to commit such terrible crimes. Agreed. Thank you, Philip. Last but not least, Stewie. Always save the best for last. So, my story is about when Brian and I shrunk and befriend water bears. We were shrunk into microscopic size and narrowly avoided predatory dust mites. We then befriended a water bear named Vernon, who led us to other water bears. A horde of dust mites pursued us as I leaked them out of my computer and managed to restore myself and Brian to our normal size. I tried to reward our water bear friends with a drop of water, unfortunately drowning them all in the process. The end. Jeez, I hate unhappy endings. I thought that story was good. Thank you, Stewie. Okay, that's everyone. Now it is up to us to decide who wins the challenge. Let's start discussing, ladies. Okay, we're going to let Riven and Nightfist go check around the area near here school to make sure Null doesn't cause any trouble. While we check on Susan and Mary to see if they finished more doses of antidote. Sounds good you two. I'm going to head back to the literature club room. Keep us up to date. How's it going Monica? We finished our discussion. 
It wasn't easy because most stories were good, but we all agreed that Johnny wins the challenge for having the most insightful story. Then that means Johnny wins immunity. Awesome. And everyone else is up for elimination. Viewers, vote for who you want to be eliminated in Google Forms. Also be sure to recommend a school challenge in the comments. Next episode comes out when it does. Oh, it's you too. The duo of persistence. Don't worry. I'm unable to spread my corruption. Not yet, at least. Because I've already lost some of the character data I consumed prior. That means the data antidote was made and successful. I just hope more can reach Jacob's show in time to save my grab abominable, Brassius, and Fantina. Aside from that, what are you doing out here? On the hunt for more victims? Lucky guess. Those people who helped with the escape are a lot smarter than I anticipated. A lot smarter than Kofu, specifically. With no one else showing up, I'm going on a hunt. Not if we team up and stop you. Maybe we can use that bench or spotlight to keep you away from other innocent people. No, no. You wouldn't want to be charged with criminal damage or vandalism, right? Whoa! Where did that come from? Yeah, that hurt. I'm starting to think that hunting is a bad idea. Consider yourselves lucky. I'm going back. I suggest you don't come back, because I will consume you if you do. Well, at least that made him go away for now. Hey, it's that bat I saw earlier. Oh, I'm no ordinary bat. Oh my gosh, you're a vampire. Yes, I dropped a giant rock on Null to keep him away from you guys. Do you all realize that it's still too dangerous to confront him? I had to step in to save you all. We just wanted to make sure Null doesn't catch anyone else. That's all? Who are you anyways? I'm Vampirina Huntley, but please call me V. I was a recommended character who joined Baldi's show, but now I'm eliminated. I was on my way home until I saw you guys. Nice to meet you V. Thanks for barging in. Since you're eliminated, want to help us with a plan to keep Null at bay? Fine, but let me talk to my parents first. And do yourselves a favor and stay away from here school. And let no one, and I mean, no one, go near there.